It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. It is whatever day it is. The day is on screen. And we are leaving for the airport right now. It's been a gong show a couple of days. Trying to get everything ready to go. Get all the stuff done around the house. All that stuff. Um, but yeah, we are leaving right now. So let's go on a cruise. It's sinking in now. It's starting to become real. Two funny stories. One, both our eggs are over 50 pounds. So, whoops. I blame Diane. And two, um, one of the reasons I love Canada so much is because Diane got pulled aside for extra screening and I didn't. So, make of that what you will. That's our plane. So we're just waiting to get on it and fly to Vancouver and wait for however long we've got to wait in Vancouver. So, here we go. Made it to Vancouver. It is... We made it a bit early. We have like probably a half hour or so to wait. Actually... I think it's our plane right there. So we're on our flight to Toronto now. And... Uh, we decided to splash out and get the business class seats, which is nice. There's a lot more leg room. Um, the seats aren't really any wider, and there's this middle seat, but the middle seat obviously is taken up into the tray. Here's just like. Anyways, the point is, we splashed out, and this is great. Because what, it's good, it's great. Especially if you have to sleep. So, I'm trying to convince Diane we should do this all the time. It is. <clears throat> Six o'clock Eastern Time. I just start thinking in Eastern Time. Although I'm still going to complain in Pacific Time because it's three o'clock in the morning at home. So my dad managed to find us. He got here after we did and he managed to join us. He's just having breakfast right now. I have my poppy seed muffin. I'm going to eat that. And I'm not really hungry, but my dad eats a lot. We should board boarding in less than an hour and we'll be off to Fort Lauderdale. Almost kind of embarrassing being in the fancy seats, but whatever. I'm sure I'll get. I'm sure I'll get over it. Well, we made Fort Lauderdale. I fell asleep again. Yeah. It's been a long day. Just about time to get out of bed right now on the vacation day. Well, we made it to our hotel. That's part of it back there. This is our part of it. I put my dad in a nice swanky room, so. He's just staying in a different building than we're staying, but yeah, we'll go see what our room is like, I guess. Uh, this is the view from our room. It's kind of uh, on a pretty low floor and it's about behind those buildings over there is the cruise ship terminal. So we'll be heading there on Saturday morning. But yeah, we're just going to relax for a bit. We'll grab supper later on once we decide what we're going to do and where and stuff. So it's really windy out here. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but um, I left the GoPro pack at the hotel. We had a lovely supper at a restaurant somewhere back there. And uh, now I'm just walking up to the Atlantic Ocean. Basically, if you go far enough that way, you'll hit Morocco. It is um, about quarter after eight now, I think. Is that what time it is? Quarter after seven? I don't know, I'm jet lag. It's still about 27, 28 degrees Celsius. That is some Fahrenheit. It's humid. My arm hair is curling. But yeah, it's, it's beautiful here. It's definitely, it's definitely nice. So that's the Atlantic. Cool. Now it is 10.40 p.m. Eastern Time. 7.40 at home. So I'm just hitting my stride. Normally right now I would have just started streaming. We made it to Florida safely. Very thankful for that. No issues, no issues with flights or anything like that. It was great. Tomorrow we go to do some shopping, basically. There's this place called the Swap Shop, which is this massive, like, market. So we're gonna check that out tomorrow at some point. We'll see how that goes. But for tonight, uh, it's time to get ready for bed and get some sleep, try to get some sleep. We're on our way to breakfast, and it's 10 o'clock, and it's 31 degrees outside. Beautiful day, though, so we're just gonna grab breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the Swap Shop, which is a giant flea market somewhere that way. Now it's close to 12, gonna go pick up the car so I get my first driving experience in Florida, which should be interesting. Did I mention it's 32 degrees now? 
So we are in the swap shop. It's this giant market. This is just one inside building, but essentially it's like a, a giant market. It's exciting though. There's a lot, of, a lot of cheap things to buy. So in the swap shop, one of the cool things is there is a barber shop. So I'm going to actually go to a barber and get them to shave and haircut me. It's going to be great. That makes me happy. Now I don't have to give myself a shave and haircut. I might have to do some touch-ups and my face is on fire slightly. But hey, you know what? There's one less thing for me to do to this week. So yeah, it's raining. Um, so now I got to... Oh, there's a lightning there too. I just turned away right when the lightning struck. One thing I will say is I definitely feel the sun more down here since I guess technically it is way more overhead than it would be in Prince George, but the sun's putting a beat down on me. And with the humidity, it feels like it's a zillion degrees out here. Not complaining, just an observation. Just getting ready to leave the swap shop. The uh, temperature says it's 104 degrees outside, which is a lot of Celsius. But yeah, now it's time to go and cool off a bit, I think. So this is the stuff we got Diane. She got a couple of bags and dresses and uh, a watch that happened to come with a ring and some earrings and stuff. And uh, this is what I got. I got comedically large sunglasses and a hat with a little thing at the back to help protect my neck as uh, Wu-Tang said. Anyways, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat now um, before that rolls in. It was very sunny, considering it was like sunny and 40 degrees outside earlier. Um, now this storm is blowing through. Well, it's coming up on 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. I am feeling jet lagged. But we had a lovely, I uh, went to like a Jamaican place tomorrow. We go on our cruise. You can just see our ship from here. I don't know if you can see it with this camera. I'll take something with my phone. Okay, so we've arrived on... in our room on the ship. Um, that's the door. And this is our lovely mini suite room. Bath bathroom back there. Hello again. Hello again. Um, hello again. <laughs> Hello again. Lots of mirrors. Thing. Lots of mirrors. No mirror on the ceiling. This is our private deck. My dad is literally next door to us, but uh, I don't know if we can get through that way. But yeah, this is the view from our. Don't want to drop the camera. This is the view from our uh, our room. We're on a boat, like Lonely Island. now 11.55, it's almost midnight. I actually posted a picture earlier of where we are right now, so that was kind of cool. I have internet, which is also kind of cool. But yeah, we'll see what tomorrow holds. In the meantime, the bed's just over there. I'm going to go in it. I'm real tired. I don't even know what year it is right now. We're about to have our first formal dinner. So I had to go and iron my shirt. Because um, it did not at all do well on the trip. I completely forgot to pack a tie. That's not my room. So um, I'm borrowing one of my dad's ties. Because I didn't realize he actually came with like a zillion ties. So it's the end of day two. <laughs> Today was uh, was interesting enough. We ended up with getting a bunch of like coupons and some free stuff and whatever. So that was that's always good. This evening went to a show. It was kind of a singing and dancing kind of thing. Super super talented performers. And then we sat in on what was called karaoke madness. And I gotta tell you, it was definitely karaoke madness big day ahead tomorrow looking forward to it and uh yeah that's the story cavens here we come
We are in Georgetown, uh, Cayman Islands. We just did some light, some light shopping and uh, things that aren't very expensive because this is sort of like the expensive part of the expensive part. It's a lovely day and we're gonna grab a bite to eat and uh, do whatever else we're doing, I guess. There is something in the water here and it's big and I wanna see what it is. Apparently it's fish. So I, I wore my I didn't wear my sandals today. I ended up wearing shoes, and uh, so I had to take my shoes and socks off to get that shot. Cause I had to kind of step into the water. So now I'm waiting for my feet to dry. And I gotta tell you, these stones are real hot. So me and my comedically large sunglasses are at Seven Mile Beach. Seven Mile Beach is five and a half miles long. This really is a lovely beach, though. Our bus took us the scenic route, so it took us forever to get here. Now we have to get back. Oh. I just got I just got Caribbean Ocean. So we've left the Caymans. We're heading for Roatan, Honduras, and this is the first time I've actually felt the boat rocking. Here's a bit of footage that I've sped up so you can see what the rocking looks like. Yeah, it is uh, laundry day today. It's all in there right now. Oh, there it goes. Telling me it should be done any minute. So my community dealer sunglasses and I are here at Roatan in on the island of Honduras. And uh, we were basically found at this guy who, a uh, taxi company that does little tours and things. So um, they brought us here, wherever here is. And this is the view from here. That's not our ship. That's not even the other ship. There were actually two ships when we came to dock. That's not either ship. That's a totally different ship. We are continuing our tour of Honduras. Just had some lovely coconut water directly from the coconut. We're here in this lovely little bay area. I think this is called West Bay. I think, possibly. I don't actually know. Beautiful day though. So we did the whole tour, got to drive around a lot, a lot, a lot checked out a, a, a lot, and then this afternoon just relaxed, played Scrabble with my dad. I lost, but that's to be expected. My dad and Diane are out taking in a show right now. I am, I feel pretty crappy today actually. I don't know whether the sun got to me or what. I think that coconut I had earlier may have saved my life, so I'm going to just relax for a bit and try and feel better. So it's not all fun, fun, fun. We're just getting ready to disembark and go to a uh, Mayan ruin thing. Well, I mean, you can't really see it on this camera, but over there there's a, there is a Mayan pyramid um, that I'm pretty sure is fake because it looks like it's got water slides coming out of it. But uh, yeah, we are in Mexico. How cool is that? So we were at the Chachupan ruins in Mexico. And here's some of them. We're going to be climbing these steps, which doesn't excite me because it's really hot out. Uh, but it should make for some good pictures. So, and my hand is really shaking right now because why not? We saw some spider monkeys earlier. Try to get a couple pictures of that. And oh, I had a bug just land on my finger. And yeah, now we're going to do some climbing, and we'll see what the top, another bug, and we'll see what the top looks like. Really, really cool spot at the uh, at the um, Mayan ruins, and the water here is beautiful. It's like absolutely green, blue, turquoise, whatever that is. So now we're just heading back, grab a bite for lunch, and burn my clothes, and maybe burn myself, and just generate all new skin, so I can feel clean. We just had a lovely dinner um, with. A couple 
two people with two sets of people. One set of people were from Vegas, and uh, they talked a lot. The other set of people, it was a couple from New York, and they were like quintessentially New York. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, but it was formal night, hence the outfit. And another one of my dad's ties that I spilled water on. Side note, I wore a tie tonight, got it on the first try. Just wanted to throw that out there. Me and my comedically large sunglasses are now in Cozumel, and look at all the ships behind us. There are four ships here right now. It's supposed to be 30 degrees here today, so I'm expecting it to be insane, but uh, on our way to find some dolphins. Well, I got told no cameras, so I guess I won't try and sneak one in. Bye. That's pretty cool. I wish I could have had my camera. Marks out of 10 for the dolphin experience. Marks out of 10? Yeah. Uh, 10. Yep, yeah, it was good. Just in this, really and good. The manatee was cool too. Yeah. Let's see what it's like to see basically a water elephant. Oh yeah, everything about cruising, it's been good, but everything's making me get dirty. <laughs> Cut all the salt off of me, which is great. Now it's five o'clock, I gotta go get, do my shave and haircut now. That was great. I love not having to give myself shaves and haircuts. Now I'm hoping to be able to relax a bit for the afternoon. I forgot about laundry. On the phone with Air Canada trying to get our flights changed because they moved our flight to be like an hour later. It basically doesn't make it really worth having a hotel in Toronto, so stay tuned for this adventure. We've made it to Fort Lauderdale Airport roughly 11 hours now before our flight's supposed to leave because we got delayed. And this is the best option of what to do for things. So... Yeah. We came back to the swap shop. We have so much time to kill that, that my comedically large sunglasses and I are back at the swap shop. Because why not? This is a cool place. So it's 5 o'clock and our flight's been delayed until 9. So I'm hoping that we get home eventually. I'm basically looking at plan B right now because I'm a little bit worried that they're going to keep delaying and then cancel it. Which means we're not going to make our hotel in Toronto tonight. But more importantly, we run the risk of Diane not making work Monday morning. For me, it's not the end of the world if I don't make work Monday morning, but Diane needs to be at her work Monday morning. So, this is, this is my impressed face. It is 8 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm told, let's believe our plane is actually in the air on the way here, so we should actually leave at 9. 45 ish. So we should have a little bit of time in Toronto, kind of get to a hotel, shower, quick nap, and then we've got to catch our flight to, from Toronto to Vancouver. It's gonna be a long night. It is about a quarter past two Eastern time. We are at our hotel now. It's only about 20 past 11 BC time. The bad news is that we have to be up at ridiculous o'clock to make our 8 a.m. flight. Oh, but here's something exciting. Check this out. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can get the display to light up. I have it set to 18 degrees Celsius. We'll see if it actually cools down to 18 degrees Celsius, but this will literally be the coolest that we've been in a week and a half. <laughs> So it is the day after we got back. We got back yesterday afternoon. Yesterday was pretty busy getting on the pad, getting ready for the week. I gotta go to work this morning, and Diane's already gone to work. Also very tired after our three-ish hours of sleep. And cold. Being cold is a weird sensation. 
But yeah, we did have a good time. Our first cruise experience was fantastic. Shout out to my dad for taking us and making all making it all happen. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because I don't have much else to say. And even if I did, I can't remember what it was supposed to be. So yeah. Okay, bye. Adventuring with Paul. It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul.